Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for this opportunity to present my research work. My name is Sharia Abdul Ahad. I am a PhD student at Materials, Energy and Nano Engineering MSN Department at UM6P. The title of my today's presentation is Design and Characterization of Sodium Zirconium Cobalt Phosphate Cathode Material with High Voltage for Sodium Ion Batteries. Here is the outline of my presentation. First, I will start by introduction. After that, I will move to the experimental section, especially materials preparation, synthesis, morphology, and electrochemical characterizations. And I will finish by conclusion and some perspectives. Sodium ion batteries has been considered as an attractive and promising alternative for energy storage applications. As you know, there exist a lot of kinds of materials for sodium ion batteries, and each one presents advantages and disadvantages. However, in our team as a priority, we select to search for new materials-based phosphates because they provide high structure stability, safety during utilization, high voltage, and good electrochemical performances. In this context, our strategy is to search for new materials with, with abundant elements, uh, like sodium and phosphate with low cost and of course with high electrochemical performances. The main objective of this work can be divided into two parts. The first part consists of synthesizing new phosphate based materials with abundant elements. The second part, which is called technology development, consists in the characterization of the cathode materials using different techniques. The challenge is to validate the result to be able to move in the third part to do the scaling up. Let's start by synthesis process. The cathode material was obtained through the solution reaction process from aqueous solutions. The mixture was styled for 30 minutes and heated up to 60 degrees C until complete evaporation of the solution in gel formation. The resultant residue was heated at temperature between 200 degrees C and 705 G. Intermediate grinding were performed on the sample before each calcination step. Concerning the carbon coating process, in order to improve the electron conductivity of the cathode materials, 85% of, of the obtained materials was Ultimately mixed and grinded with saccharose using pure acetone solution fluid by heating at 600 degrees C for 5 hours under argon flow. Now let's move to the structure characterization. The analysis of X-ray powder diffraction data shown that the materials has hexagonal symmetry with the space group R3C with the following cell parameters. The comparison of the cell parameters with those obtained by Godenov group confirmed the goodness of the refinement and confirmed the stability of the cobalt-based materials. The structure of our materials consists of three-dimensional framework constructed by phosphate oxidra PO4 and the cobalt zirconium oxidra sharing their corners. The sodium cations are located in both and as you can size M1 and M2, the file occupy the M1 and 66% of M2. For the Raman spectroscopy, two bands are observed which can be assigned to D and G bands, characteristic of carbon. In addition to that, we perform the thermogrammetric analysis to determine carbon amount. The results show the presence of just 3.5% of the carbon after coating. The same image before and after carbon coating showed that our compound have a regular shape and exhibit a micrometric size. We note also the presence of agglomerates as it can be seen from this figure. The DX mapping have shown that our materials shows a regular atom distribution before and after carbon coating. Before starting the electrochemical test, we decide to optimize the cutoff voltage. For that, we perform the GCPL test at different voltage range. We observe the increase of the capacity with the increasing of the voltage. The better discharge capacity will be reached in the potential windows between 2 volt to 4.4 volt. In order to study the effect of coating and banders on the electrochemical performance, galvanostatic measurements at constant rate would carry out for the three cathodes. The first one without coating, the second one coated and used PVDF as bander, and the third one coated and prepared with CMC. For the three cathode, we observe the reversibility of electrochemical test and the presence of two flat plateaus, characteristic of the intercalation, disintercalation of sodium, and attributed to the oxidation reduction of of cobalt. In addition to that, with coaching, we remarked the enhancement of the discharge capacity from 60 to more than 85 mAh per gram. Furthermore, to that, the same C stabilized the discharge capacity and gives excellent electrochemical performances. Concerning GCPL long term cycling, the cathode materials delivered the initial discharge capacity of about 90 mAh per gram at C by 10 and the reversible discharge capacity of about 86 mAh per gram can be maintained after 5G cycle when the electrode is cycled between 2V and 4.4V at the current rate 
of c by 10 with an average columbic efficiency of 83.5 percent our last test is the rate capability test we know the decrease of the capacity when the increasing of the rate however we have a good capacity at 1c equal to about 40 milliamp per hour per gram and we obtained also a good capacity retention when we return back to the rate c by 10. to conclude i will return back to my first slide to present what we succeed to achieve and what we plan to do in the future firstly we succeed to finalize the lab feasibility studies with synthesis of pure phosphate with high discharge capacity and high voltage and also we confirm that cmc provides excellent reversibility and stability secondly we achieve 80 percent of the technology development to complete it we will characterize the cathode materials with in situ analysis dft determination of the volume change and we will validate the technology with the preparation of full sales to be able to move to the upscaling that's ladies and gentlemen was what i want to share with you thank you for your attention